So we have learned from the split test or the split validation that uh, so when we have a data set, we normally split the data into two parts and one for training and one for testing. Okay, so the purpose is that uh, we built our model based on the training data so that naturally that our model will fit pretty well on the training data. And next, we will apply the model to this testing data. And we will say, okay, so does the model have a same performance on the testing data? So if yes, then we can will be more confident to apply the model to the other new data set. Okay, new data. Uh, if not, then that will be an overfit issue. So, okay, so that is the purpose of using split test. Um, however, um, so when we do the split test, uh, we did separate uh, those two sections randomly. There are still uncertainties. So there might still be a tiny chance of uh, dep really depending on the on the, the on the nature of the data that the training data and also the testing data are split differently. Okay, all the training data and testing data are slightly different, so that the the performance of the model will be different on the training and also on the test. That is mainly because we just split the data. We did that for one time, so that there's still uncertainties. Uh, so that is where uh, we introduced the cross validation. So cross validation is a way that we can evaluate um, the performance so that uh, it's more stable. Okay. Um, so the idea is that we split the data into multiple parts uh, in relative equal size or re relative generally equal size. So each part is called folds. Okay, so sometimes we might have the five folds, or sometimes we use the ten folds. Okay, uh, so here you can see here we divide the data, so the same data set that we divide into those five folds. So here we have uh, first fold, second fold. Okay, so we have five folds. And next, we are going to train the model. Um, for multiple times. So a sequence of model is trained where in each sequence, one fold is used for testing and also the other fold are used for training. So for example, in the first iteration, the first fold is used for the testing or sometimes they call it a validation subset. And the other fold is used for the training data. So we train the model uh, based on the other four folds and we test data by using this one fold. And on the second iteration, we train a, a model that with um, those data set, and but we test data with this data set, okay? And on the third iteration, we train the data with those data set and we test data with this, uh, the third fold, and we p repeat those steps Okay, until that we used all the folds for training and also we use all the folds for testing. Uh, so after each iteration, we will have different accuracies, okay, of model. So uh, finally, we will use the aggregated accuracy. So in most cases, we, are, we can just simply calculate the mean accuracy. Okay, so in this case, the final accuracy will be the average of the accuracy from the different iterations. Okay, uh, so that is a basic idea of the cross validation. And of course, you can do some more complicated cross validations. So this is just probably the simplest way of doing the cross validation. Uh, so the benefit of cross validation, um, I think uh, the first of all that we will be more confident about the accuracy that we get. So, uh, so because if the model want to have a high accuracy after the cross validations, then the model have to reach high scores for all the samples in the data set. Okay, so in that case, 
uh, the model will can reach a high accuracy. Secondly, it will provide a range of the performance. Okay, so it will provide provide a range of performance. For example, for example, and the reported result may be might be look like this. Okay, so the average accuracy is um, eighty percent with around say the error of three uh, percent. Okay. Uh, so in that case, we know that in the worst case scenario, the accuracy can be 70, uh, 77. And in the best case scenario, the accuracy can be 83. OK, so we can get a range of the model performance. So that is also something that's pretty good, nice that to know. Uh, however, um, this is not a benefit, actually. And so this uh, is kind of a this advantage of cross validation. So that is that so we need to uh, compute multiple times uh, so that the computing time will be longer than a split test. OK, uh, so for example, in the previous example that when we do a five folds uh, cross validations and we have to run five times to train the model. So we have to train the model five times. And finally, we can have the um, aggregated accuracy. Uh, 